Seattle dance scene is ripe with top-notch dancers and choreographers, and one of the very best is Mark Heim, who has a new solo work. It's titled Parts to a Sum, and joining me now is the man himself. Hello, Mark. Hey, Nancy. Welcome. Now, you've had a very long career, very illustrious, four decades, basically, and you've choreographed for major dance companies around the world and local, like Wim Wim. Very wonderful company, uh, but you didn't really go full on into dance until you were 17 years old. Yeah. About so, what made you decide dance is what I want to do? Dance is my medium at age 17. Well, I had taken a little bit of tap lessons when I was seven uh, mm -hmm. at the local school, and uh, but then I had to stop and never really, uh, never really stopped. Yeah. And um, I was always dancing around the house, and uh, in fact, kicked off an oven handle at one point. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Were they happy? Were the parents happy? Yeah, about my that? mom kept saying, you know, stop dancing around the house. Yeah, yeah. So when I got into high school, um, there were high school musicals and I got involved in them. Mm -hmm. You also, in the background, I know, in classical piano, you started playing piano as yeah. a youngster, too. Yeah, so all through that time, I was taking piano lessons from age six to 18. Yeah. And I still play now. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I want to read a sentence from a 1997 review that came out of the, the Village Voice. Uh, Mark Heim's dancing exudes a kind of nobility. There's something always balanced about him, even in crisis. And that really resonates with me because nobility and balance were front and center for me in your 2012 uh, show, This Land is Your Land. I saw that at 2012 at, on the boards. And it was a riveting piece. It was very powerful. It was beautiful. It was super well thought out. Um, so what was behind or the idea, the premise behind This Land is Your Land? Because it was kind of anthemic in a way. This Land is Your Land started really from this moment in my apartment when I was about to leave to go to rehearsal where I just started chassing to the front door and coming back down. And, um, and I thought, oh, I want to make a piece that's based on this pattern of going front and back and front and back and front and back and mm -hmm. it just never ends. Mm -hmm. It was in this moment of like pure play. And then it just became this whole experiment in minimalism and um, slow mutation. Mm -hmm. I started wanting to bring in props and take out props. And so all these other larger themes came into play. And I realized it was very interesting to think that you can add one element and it can totally spark a whole new direction or symbolize a part of contemporary life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just think you have a clarity of vision, and that really came through in that piece to me. All right, let's talk about the, the new piece, the new opus. It's a solo performance called Parts to a Sum, and you've been working on it since February 2017, choreographed in a truly unique way. Um, so I want our audience to understand kind of how you did this. So how did you start out? You contacted 432 people. Yeah, I... Um... I wanted to make a solo for myself. I had made an 80-minute solo for myself 20-something years ago, and I wanted to make one more solo for myself. But every time I went into the studio to move around, there was just something missing that wasn't enough to get me going. And um, eventually, for a number of reasons, I, I realized I wanted to um, involve other people in the piece. Mm -hmm. And then it became this idea of, well, what if I involve like, a lot of people in the piece? <laughs> So I asked 432 people to send me five to 10 seconds of movements with good intentions behind them. With good intentions behind them. So, yeah. And these are people you know, everyone you knew. I had to, that to be people that I had memories that I know I would always remember. Yeah, everyone said yes, is that right? Everyone said yes, and then 370 actually sent them. Sent the video in. Did you use movement from every video that you received? Yeah. Okay, Yeah. Right. Explain how you structured so, the piece. Yeah, I, I had already known that I was either going to dance them in, in age order, either from youngest to oldest or oldest to youngest. Mm -hmm. So I decided to do it from oldest to youngest. Oh, oh, well, for a number oh, of reasons, but oh, a big reason oh. was that um, I felt like the younger people would give my body more of a run for its money, and so I wanted to be warm. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to start right off Right, just like really, really moving really yeah. fast, right. And the youngest, uh, who is the oldest and who is the youngest? So yeah, the oldest is 93 years old and the youngest is a year and a half. Wow, wow. All right, so you learned the movement by watching the videos. Yeah. Was that hard to do? Yeah, um, I had already spent hours and hours learning Beyonce's Single Ladies back in 2009. <laughs> and um, The dance. The dance. The dance. Yeah, really? Yeah, so, you, and... so, you, so you learned it from a video? From the video, yeah. So you already had some experience with that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and so, uh, yeah, I had experience, and, and yeah. so then I just... 
Is there any movement that that one of your uh, one of the people, the 370, did that you think, man, that was that? I wish I had choreographed that myself. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> good. I like the honesty. That's uh, good. But there are many that. Um, there are many, many that I love. Well, I mean, it's, 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 it's interesting because it's all about love in a way. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking at people that I've known and I, and I love. Mm -hmm. um, so all of them are special to me in mm -hmm. one way or another. And, and some of them are actually quite beautiful, um, just beautifully shot, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Why did you want to make parts uh, to a sum in this, in this way? Why this way? Part of it was this idea of wanting to hold as many bodies as I could and trying to bring that and share that with other people so that maybe it would remind people of how many people we make us up, you know, like right. how many people we we're... are parts of a sum. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, the other thing also is sometimes I think, especially with um, capitalism, we get obsessed with private property and what's mm -hmm. ours and what's somebody else's. Mm -hmm. and, and I wanted it, I've thought of this, I think a lot of us think about this, so I wanted to do something that wasn't necessarily mine. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited to see the program with. 370 names mm -hmm. in the credits. Will any of them be uh, see see the final or see the performance? Yet? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, many are here in Seattle, and then oh, people are flying in from other places to oh, see good. it as they're well. Oh, good. They're going to see it in action. They're going to see their work. So it's been two years in the making. Uh, you bring it to the audience. How do you hope people will respond, or do you have a hope for how people will respond to the work? As an artist, you always hope that people like it or you, yeah. they enjoy themselves. But I guess what I really hope is that it brings it brings about more love for people oh, and, and it gets them to acknowledge our interconnectedness. Mm -hmm. That's a great intent. Yeah. All right. Well, Markheim's new solo dance, Parts to a Sum, it runs April 5 through the 13th. And ticket information is at velocitydancecenter.org. Well, thank you so much uh, thank for you. coming in. And thank since you. during the run of the show, it is going to be your birthday, your 58th birthday, yeah. April 12th, I believe. April 12th. And with that in mind, please <laughs> bring it in. Oh, no. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mark. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Make a wish, darling. Oh. Make a wish. Now you have to share that. Thank you have you. to share that cookie. I will, yeah. Um, Our interconnectedness. <laughs> yes, we'll all eat little bits of Please. pieces. Please. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the cookie. Great.